Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV, and we have with us this morning Chara Sullivan, and she's going to be talking to us about metamorphosis. Uh, mentoring metamorphosis is actually the name of my business. Great. Okay, tell us about it. Awesome. Well, I've been in practice for a little over a year, just kind of celebrating my uh, grand opening by moving into a new office recently. Um, but I love to work with clients on, as I put it, anyone who feels like they have just that great big rock in front of them that they can't seem to break through or climb over, um, whether it may be stress or anxiety related, whether it may be kind of anything like that. Uh, I seem to specialize in working with people who are struggling with anxiety, partially because there's so many of us that are out in the world today, but also because it's a, a place near and dear to my heart. Um, so since we're here today to talk a lot about EFT, that's absolutely one of the key tools that I usually teach my clients to work through things when they come in to work on other things like I, I offer hypnosis and neurolinguistic programming services as well. But EFT is a crucial piece for a lot of my clients. Oh, yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah. I've done it before, too. So, Yeah. Could you explain EFT? My studio audience would like to know what that is. Absolutely. Um, EFT, the way I think of it and kind of the way that it was explained to me initially, so that's what took root for me, is that it's similar in a lot of ways to things like uh, acupuncture or acupressure, things like that. It's one of those tools that really kind of deeply connects with the meridians, the energy meridians and things that flow all throughout our bodies. So if you think of all those pictures from back in school of all of our circulatory systems and all of those things that run through with our blood and our electrical energy, as it were, there's also a kind of meridian that runs through our whole body, connecting every different part of us. Um, and it connects not just in a physical manner, but in an emotional manner and in a spiritual manner as well. So from what I understand, over the years, EFT has grown and changed and adapted, as most things do. And there used to be a ton of different points all over the body, very similar to, again, acupuncture or acupressure, where if you were dealing with this particular issue, you might need to go grab your book or talk to your mentor about, okay, so what particular area of my body do I tap on for this? Um, or how would I specifically set it up to do you know, some work on this? Uh, thankfully, though, they've really refined things over the years, and the way that I was taught it is similar to, if not the same, that the uh, wonderful gentleman, Gary Craig, who has his wonderful website, which is the, uh, gosh, what is it? I think it's emo free or emo free dot com. Um, he's really refined it down into a much more simplified, easier to remember, easier to complete way of doing things that kind of checks in with your whole body and is able to get all of those spots and things flowing more freely, working more clearly, um, so that you don't have to put as much effort in up front to think about how do I want to deal with this? How do I want to approach this? You can just go into that same wonderful pattern that you start building for yourself to help yourself feel a lot better and, and more relaxed to heal internally and, and things like that. Great. And were you going to have me do it as you, were you going to do a demo? We talked about that. Absolutely. I can go ahead and do a demo. And since you're not on camera right now, that's totally fine. I'll just pretend that you're following along and hopefully maybe you will be following along. We just want I to will. see it. <laughs> But so for here, here's an example of one of the things, like I said, that I use EFT a lot for is when I have clients who are coming in struggling with things like anxiety. Your or sound stress. got really quiet. Oh, no. Is that any better? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so one of the things that I, I use this most often for is when I see clients for things like anxiety or stress management. Um, a lot of times, especially people who are prone to panic attacks and things like that, stress really creeps up on you and all of a sudden can feel very overwhelming. And so there's a lot of other work that obviously myself, other counselors and therapists and things do with clients to help with the overall picture, but in that moment when things are just really closing in, to have a tool that's always with you no matter what, to be able to just 
slip into and give yourself control back of that situation is incredibly valuable. And so that's one of the things that EFT is able to provide. Um, I know it's one of the few things that has already been approved by like the Veterans Administration and is something that a lot of people go in and actually teach at veteran hospitals and things to help with post-traumatic stress and things like that because again it really helps regain control of a situation. But you can use it for even the simplest of things. A lot of my clients will joke about slipping off into the restroom at work when they're having a particularly stressful day. They get out of a really annoying meeting or have an interaction with a coworker that just put them on edge. Um, I know I've caught myself needing to step aside and go do it in my car sometimes between meetings if things are not going particularly favorable that day. Mm -hmm. um, so... Again, a wonderfully simple process that we'll go ahead and start on now, and I'll just walk through it with sort of a generic idea of we start here with what we call the karate chop point on sort of the flat point on the bottom of your hand. So you can see just the side here. Okay. You tap gently using a couple of fingers. And as you do that, you think about what in particular it is that you want to work on today. So before we even start tapping on that, let me look at something like if you're feeling particularly anxious in that moment. Thinking to yourself on a kind of scale of one to 10, how anxious do I feel right now? And say you find yourself feeling at a six. Okay, you make a mental note of that and you'll start tapping on that karate chop point and say to yourself something along the lines of, even though I'm feeling anxious and stressed out right now, I fully and completely love and accept myself. And you'll go through this for yourself three times and it can be very similar or it can be exactly the same. That's totally up to you. But even though I'm feeling really anxious and stressed out right now because et cetera, et cetera, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling really anxious and stressed out right now, I totally and completely love and accept myself. So there's some room for variation there, both within that set of threes. And you'll notice that we have a lot of sets of threes. It's kind of the magic of threes in this process. Um, but the phrasing is something that needs to connect with you. But it's definitely about kind of pulling together and accepting yourself in that moment of, even though I'm feeling this thing that I don't want to feel anymore, I understand that it's not a part of who I am. It is something that can be gotten past because I still fully and completely love and accept myself. So moving from that point, we start with the very top of our head and kind of give yourself a little pat on the head. And you'll notice that I'm doing a lot of taps as we're talking about things here, but really it only needs to be around like five to seven taps for each of these spots. So we go from the very top of the head to a spot just between your two eyes, just kind of above the bridge of your nose. And then just to the side of your eyes here, and you can do it just one, or if you'd like, you can tap both sides at the same time. And then you'll tap just below your eye, again, very gently. And once again, you can also do it on both sides at once if you prefer. Just below your nose. And then in the center of your chin here, And then this one always gets a laugh from people. You're going to go ahead and ball up your hand so it's got a nice flat closure there. And just gently tap on your chest. Uh, a lot of people refer to this as the Tarzan point. <laughs> so you're gently beating on your chest and you could yell out something. And if you have time and you're at home and you won't be bothering anyone, go for it. Yell out something. <laughs> but the very last point is a really fun one. You get to lift your arm high up. You probably can't see it super well, but reach underneath your arm and just sort of tap along. For ladies, it's kind of where our bras have a tendency to run under. But for men, it's just the area sort of just below your armpit. And then we go back through this whole wonderful cycle again. And one of the fun things about it is you can add in little kind of mantras to yourself as you do it. So even though I was feeling stressed, now I feel a little silly because I'm doing this. <laughs> and that feels better, you know? And perhaps I'm even feeling calmer when I know that everything will be okay. So you just sort of talk to yourself in a positive way? Yeah. And you absolutely don't have to. Again, some of those clients that sneak through and, and go do it quietly in the uh, 
restroom at work or out in their car, you're obviously welcome to go ahead and just sort of mentally speak to yourself about it as well if you don't feel like you can do something verbally at the time. Because ultimately you're talking to yourself, so your, your mind and your heart and all of those things will still hear you. Okay. And then now that we've completed that third kind of cycle through, it's time to check in with yourself again. So before you were at a six, kind of take a nice deep breath and then let it out and then feel, am I at a three? Am I at a two? Am I at a one? How do I feel? And I know for me, just my general, say, nervousness of coming on here today has already decreased significantly. Um, but so kind of checking in with yourself, and if you're still at a number, usually above a two or a three, you go ahead and start the process over again and do something along the lines of, you know, even though I'm still feeling anxious uh, because I'm worried about this particular thing or whatever else it may be, then I fully and completely love and accept myself. Um, if you're feeling very close to, say, like a two, you can go ahead and do a round that's completely focused on positives. So now that I'm feeling better, mm -hmm. and I do know that everything's going to be completely okay, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Or now that my leg's feeling better and I know I get to go for that walk later this afternoon, I fully and completely love and accept myself, whatever it may be. Okay. Um, Shara, you gave us a in this online live presentation, you gave us a guide to download. Is there somewhere yes. that listeners can get that? Absolutely. Um, anyone who would like to is welcome to visit my website. Uh, it's mentoringmetamorphosis.com. I know that's a mouthful. So it's M-E-N-T-O-R-I-N-G and then metamorphosis, M-E-T-A-M-O-R p-h-o-s-i-s dot com and the particular link which I will go ahead and include with this video later on um, and perhaps you'll be able to put up on your website as well just kind of adds over to an easy guide on the basics of VFT so it's got all of these points put down on a lovely image and kind of walks you through the process as I just did and uh, I always like to provide that to clients and and friends and things so that I know I've been doing this for a long time and I still have a tendency to slip and forget one of the spots sometimes. So it's a nice just thing to have on reference. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because I know I forgot some spots. Yeah. Okay. And it has some other built-in little pieces there that they talk about. Um, there's another option of once you feel like you've completely and fully like, okay, I've got it down usually to a two or below, or you've gotten it down to a point where you feel completely, uh, good, you're down to basically a zero on a scale of one to 10, then you can go ahead and do a thing where you would look straight ahead and then let your eyes roll gently up and just kind of follow down to the sides, down to the floor, and then bring your eyes back to a neutral. And that also has just a way of kind of allowing your brain, everything else to come back together and help you feel centered and connected as a kind of completion aspect of the whole process. All right. <laughs> that was fun. How are you feeling, Sonny? It's good. Okay. So we both benefited. <laughs> Wonderful. I always love to hear that. Well, and for anyone, I'm in, in no way affiliated with this, but for anyone who wants to dive really deeply into understanding kind of how and why and more about the AFT process, I do really highly recommend uh, Gary Craig's website. And it looks like that is EMO. F R E E dot com. He's got a whole wonderful thing. You can go ahead and take workshops with him and go through his whole online course and all of it's completely free. This is sort of his life's work and his whole goal is to make sure and share all of that information so it can be passed along and, and passed through. So, um, but I am of course also always happy to answer any questions. So if anyone wants to email me or, you know, contact me through my website, give me a call. I'll make sure that all of that information available as well okay and that was em emo emo free.com okay all right wonderful awesome.
And so do you, either of you ladies have any questions for me about either what we talked about or anything we haven't covered yet? Sunny, do you have any questions? Do you always have to say I completely accept myself? Do you always have to say I completely accept myself? It's recommended, again, because it's about kind of even if you don't feel that way in the moment, especially if you don't feel that way in the moment, that can be the most challenging part for a lot of people. So I like to tease that even if you don't mean it, even if you want to be sarcastic with your mind in that moment, um, trying to bring yourself to say it really helps integrate that for yourself. But if there's a different way of phrasing it that you'd prefer, or even if you just wanted to start with, you know, I fully and completely love myself mm -hmm. or I fully, you know, believe in myself, whatever it is that really feels most comforting and most warm to you. So another way is to go about sort of practicing this in instances where you're feeling pretty good. You know, you could be having a great day and just feeling maybe a little indigestion or just feeling a little bit of a sore muscle. And so if you practice it in those instances, then the emotional side can be a little bit easier because like, I, I feel great about myself today. So I, you know, even though my ankle hurts, I still feel really great about myself today. So just kind of blending it and making it your own in a way that makes it comfortable. But as long as you have that positivity piece for yourself. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Okay. Hope to see you again. Absolutely. I would love to come back sometime and talk about a little bit more about hypnotherapy or neurolinguistic programming if people are interested. Wonderful. Okay. We'll have you back. Awesome. And thank you so much again for having me. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.